Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. And I have seen questions in which the end customer expects the result of an HTML table to be formatted, something similar to what you're seeing on your screen. Yes, in SharePoint, we can use column formatting and format the column to appear in a beautiful way. But they expect the same output in Power Automate. For example, when they send it as an email, you should have a color coding similar to if it's green, then it should appear as green. And if it's blue, it should appear as blue. So how can we make it happen? Let's quickly navigate to Power Automate and let's start building an example. So I will create a new flow. And let's say that I want to create an instant flow as this is for the demonstration purposes. I will use the SharePoint action to get all the items from the list. So I'll say get items. I will select my site and I'll give it the list URL that is HTML colors. At this point, I will go ahead and add another action. Let's say that I want to initialize a variable. The variable name would be HTML table. And let's set it of a type string. I can go ahead and start building my HTML table. Now you will say, Clavin, why are you not using the create HTML table action? Yes, create HTML table action or create an HTML table action is good. However, when it comes to formatting, it becomes a little bit difficult to go ahead and add additional formatting. So that is the reason why <clears throat> I'm going to create the HTML manually. So to create the HTML manually, I'm going to use append string, right? I want to loop through the items and create a string. And then I'm going to type in few HTML elements. So the first HTML that I'm going to type in is table row, sorry, is table data, table data. Right to this, I'm going to first pass in the first column so the first column is title. As soon as I add the title, it decorates it inside an apply to each or a for each loop. Next, I'm going to do a TD and I want to add the color, right? So let me quickly add the color column and let me close this action out here. At this point, my HTML is ready. However, there's no formatting. The next step would be to go ahead and add the formatting. To add the formatting, I'm going to use a special tag known as data dash tag, right? To the data dash tag, I'm going to pass in a color. So this is, this will help us identify which particular CSS needs to be applied to the corresponding table data. So again, I will add the color out here. And this would look something like this. At this point, I can actually save it and let's look at the output of this action. So I should have given my Power Automate a meaningful name so that we can log the output. So I'll type in compose and I log the HTML table out here. Again, I'll save it and I'll test it. And this is how our compose action looks like. Let's go and look at the output in an HTML editor. So let me try one. Let me actually use the, let me change the table value from year, right from year to year. And let me run it, okay? This doesn't look good. So let's go back and let's add an extra tag within the HTML element that we are trying to create. That is a table row. Now let me try to test it again. Perfect. Now let me copy this. Let me go back to W3 schools. Let me change this out here. Okay, this is not what I'm looking for. So I need to go back to compose. 
and I need to copy this output, this output, right? So again, going back here, let me change this to, let me change the headers to maybe city and color. Let's try to run it now. Now this looks good. However, one thing that is missing is the color formatting. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this CSS. So the magic actually happens in the CSS. And let me add a CSS element. Or let me add two CSS elements which will go ahead and look at the data tag and based on the data tag, they will apply the color. So this is how it looks like, right? But however, the color should be blue, not red. So this is how it will look. Let's quickly also add a table border as a CSS. Now, if you're new with CSS, go ahead and Google it. You'll find multiple examples around it. And let me say light blue, CSS, color, pick up, right? So let me go ahead and pick up something lighter. Perfect. So this looks better. And this is what we expected, right? If I just dock this side by side, this is what we expect and this is what we have. So this is the HTML element. So what we need to do. So firstly, we need to go ahead and get rid of this much. Let me go ahead and copy this. Let me go back to Power Automate into the HTML where I created it. So going to copy this into a compose, going to go ahead and add the dynamic value that is the HTML. And let's go ahead and pass the output of the compose out here. Expect that it works. Perfect. I have the email and here my friends, we have the color formatting on the email. So in this example, we have learned that you can use CSS to go ahead and manipulate or change or even inject CSS into your HTML tables. Now, there are a few problems or few cons of this approach. One of the problem would be if you have a lot of data, this might be slow. So although you can go ahead and change the setting and to apply to each loop to go ahead and have a degree of parallelism, which will go ahead and process your data faster, but it can be slow at times, right? So I think that's pretty much it. And thank you for your time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.